In this video, we'll show you how to make a shirt in Roblox. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And make sure you watch this video right until the end as I'm showing you a lot of information in this. And also I'll show you how to put the shirt for sale as well. Let's get right into this video. The first thing you need to do is come to the Roblox website and you need to come to this top bar here and go and tap on create. Now the first time you go and tap on create, you may get this big banner which looks something like this. And it's gonna have a big create button, but what you need to do is go below that and go to manage my experiences, and then you'll get taken to the page which looks something like this. But also if you've gone and seen that page before, you may automatically get taken here. And then once you're here, all you need to do is make sure my creations is selected, and you want to come down this side menu here and go and tap on shirts. And then once you tap on shirts, you need to come up to the top here, where it says create a shirt and what you need to do is go in where it says did you use the template go and click if not and it says download it here and as you can see here is this template to go and create a roblox shirt so then all you need to do is right click on it you need to go and click on save image as and this is going to go and open up your file explorer which you'll have to blur and then all you need to do is find something you want to go and save it and then go and tap on save and then after you saved it you need to go and open up a new tab and come to a search engine and you need to go and search for a website called Photopea. Now Photopea is a free photo editing software and sort of graphic designer. Um, it's completely free and it's very like Photoshop. So go and tap on the official site. Here it is photopea.com and then all you need to do is click open from computer and go and find the template you just downloaded from Roblox. So I've just found it and clicked open and here we go. It's now imported this. So I'm just going to go and close my downloads down here. So now we can go and get designing and just a quick note as well you can go and see how it all works here and it gives a bit of information but essentially the color pieces are what's going to be in the shirt the gray piece isn't going to be and then it's all going to be folded up so let's go and get right into this so the first thing i recommend doing is going and removing each of these pieces here and we can go and cut these out so all you need to do is go and drag the select tool just here it's called rectangle select and what i'm going to go is zoom in using control plus and then all you need to do is go and start selecting these pieces just like so and then go and make sure you select quite a big area like this um, and then you can go and let go and that's now selected and what you need to do is press the delete key on your keyboard or you can go and use the rubber and it's going to go and remove it so now we need to do this for all of this so i'll catch up with you once i've done that and here we go i've now finished cutting it all out and if you want to go and remove this sort of dotted line which you create when you select something all you need to do is press ctrl d on your keyboard and it's going to go and disappear so the next thing you need to do is go and start adding some color and then we can go and add images and things like that so what you need to do is come over here to the right hand side panel and you need to go and click on this new layer button at the bottom, go and tap on it just like so. And then what you want to do is go and drag it below the background like that and there we go. And now all we need to go and do is go and start colouring this in. So you've got a few different options to go and do this. The first one you can just go and select everything just like so and then let go once you selected it all just like that. And then you can go and choose a colour you want, so we could go and do say a blue. I'll go do like a bright blue and then go and press this gradient tool button here and you can go and press paint bucket and then all you need to do is click and as you can see it's now all blue but what I might actually do is go and make a gradient so to go and do that you need to select two colors in the color switcher so I'm going to go and select maybe a darker blue uh, just like so and press ok and then all you need to do is go and hold on the bucket tool press gradient um, gradient tool just like so and I'm going to go and deselect by doing Control D and then all you need to do is go and drag just like this and boom as you can see we've now gone and created this gradient however you may want an image instead as the background of your shirt so all you need to do is search up cool backgrounds and then you can go and use one of these make sure you have like the copyright permission for it so once you found it all you then need to do is go and save it so click save image as your file explorer will open and then come back to Photopea just like so. And what you need to do is come up to file and then go and click open and place just like so. And you just go and find that image, I found it here. And then it's gonna automatically place it. And then all you need to do is go and adjust it just like so. So I'm gonna go and drag it up and down just so it fills the whole thing just like so. So there you go, that's another way you can go and add a background and then go and press the tick at the top and there you go. However, I think I prefer the gradient background so I'm gonna go and select it and then press the delete key on my keyboard and it's removed. So now I want to go and add some more text and images to this just to make it even cooler. So you can go on Google and go and search for things like emojis or anything like that. But personally, I want to go and upload my logo onto the shirt. So all you then need to do is go and click on file again and then click open and place. And then you need to go and find whatever you'd like. So I've now found my logo and I've now been imported it and I'm now just gonna go and resize it and then go and place it. So what you need to do to place it is just put it in this middle piece here. Um, that's where it's gonna be. So I'm gonna place it in the middle just like so. And um, that's pretty square if you ask me. Then go and press the tick. 
but of course you can go and add loads more stuff as well. And to add text, all we need to do is press on this text tool, then you can go and click anywhere, and then we can go and start typing. So I'll type in subscribe, just like so, I'll resize it in a minute. And then to go and change the font, all we need to do is select it, then come up to the top right, and there are so many different fonts. I might go and use one called Babus, just like so, um, and it's gonna go and add it, and there we go. And then all I'm gonna do is go and adjust it just so it fits perfectly, just like so. And you can also go and change the color. So go and click it all just like so, then go and click on the color button, and then you can make it any color you would like. And if you do anything you want to undo, all you need to do is go and press Control and Z or Z on your keyboard, and it's gonna go and undo it. But once you're ready, which I am now, I want to go and export it and then upload it to Roblox and go and sell it and wear it. So all you then need to do is go and press on file. And then once you've clicked on file, all you need to do is come down to export as, and you've got these different file types. I recommend doing PNG. But if you think you may want to make further edits to this, I recommend clicking save as PSD, as this is like the raw file you can then go and edit. It's not exported, but you can't use PSD on Roblox. Um, so click there, and then you can go and edit it at a later date. But I want to just go and export it now, so I'll click PNG, and this is what it looks like. Quality 100, and that's make sure you don't change any of the width and height. And then you can go and click on save. And then as you can see, it's now downloaded it. And then once you've saved it, all you need to do is come back to Roblox and here we are. And then come back to the creator search section here. So come to my creations and shirts and then go and click find your image and click choose file. And then you need to go and find the file you just downloaded, which is likely to be in your downloads folder. So there we go. I just selected it. And now I'm going to go and name this. So name this anything you like. I'm going to go and name this guide realm shirt, just like so. And then all you need to do is press upload for 10 Robux. You will need 10 Robux to upload it. So you go and earn this, or maybe you could go and please donate and hopefully get some donations for it. Of course, you can go and purchase Robux as well. Then all you need to do is press upload for 10 Robux. And you need to go and confirm you'd like to do that. And now it's uploading and it says shirt successfully created. So now the shirt's gonna be successfully created and it's gonna automatically be added to your inventory. And then go and scroll down to classic clothing and make sure you click on classic shirts. And here we are, as you can see, the guide realm shirt has now been added. As you can see, it's not loading here just because I've only just uploaded it and it takes a bit of time to process, but it's updated on the same date. But now it's gonna say it's not currently for sale. So if you want this to be for sale, let's come back to our create page and then go and click on shirts then all you need to do is go and click on the settings cog on the right hand side and then click configure. And this is gonna take you to the configuration page. And now all you need to do is go and click on sales just here. And then you'll see item for sale and you need to go and enable this just like so. And then you can go and set the price. So I'll just do 10 Robux just like so. Then I'm gonna go and press save. And as you can see, it says item successfully updated. And if I go and click go to details, um, it's gonna say the price and then people can go and buy it. And if you want to go and wear it, all you need to do is press on the avatar and then you can go and find your clothing and then we can go and put it on. And there you go, you've now gone and created a shirt, it's in your inventory and it's now for sale so you can go and earn Robux. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like, peace.